What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Season 2, Episode 7 of our Leeds United career mode. Currently, we sit in third place in the Premier League, just one point behind City and five points behind Liverpool. We are also one point ahead of Spurs. We're just going to look who currently sits in the relegation zone, which is Sheffield, Preston and Nottingham Forest. Jumping into our first game, we take on Southampton and that is their starting 11 and substitutions. And this is ours. Southampton get the first opportunity of the game, falling to Oberfemi and Millier manages to put it behind for a corner. Just before the end of the first half, we managed to pick up a shot on target, but Angus Gunn puts it behind as well. A beautiful finesse shot from Rodrigo and an amazing save from Gunn. The next opportunity comes from Silva playing a through ball to Pedro Neto, and he manages to find the back of the net to make it 1-1. Nil Leeds United. You can see that we have a red card there, and that's because Calvin Phillips picked up two yellow cards, which got him a red, and he has been sent off. But a beautiful through ball from the silver picks out Neto, and Neto just manages to run it to the middle and then easily put it past Angus Gunn, who is in goal for Southampton. Neto is making exactly the same run yet again. He is powering through. He can see that he has three players coming in and he picks out Harrison. And Harrison makes sure to put it into the back of the net to make it 2-0 Leeds United. Pedro Neto on that left-hand side is deadly. He just manages to run into some spaces that you don't really think are possible. And he just gets there and makes sure that like a scoring opportunity is able to come from it and beautiful little through ball I think from probably De Silva yet again or even Harrison because he's moved into the midfield but a beautiful first time finish from Harrison for our second goal and Southampton do get another opportunity in the last couple of minutes and it's from Origi making a run forward he gets past our defence and then manages to chip Millier to put it into the back of the net to make it 2-1 Leeds United he did really well to get that scoring opportunity there I think our defender should have defended a bit better they shouldn't have let him get past them so easily but I mean it's the end of the game we probably thought we had it in the bag already and we still do and the game does actually finish 2-1 we managed to pick up the three points from this game love that EA still hasn't fixed this kick glitch for managers but anyway, we'll move into our next game. So here is our starting 11 and substitutions for the first FA Cup game of today. And that is how we're going to look on the pitch. Got bets coming in for Phillips because Phillips had a red card. And we're taking on Aston Villa and this is their starting 11. A very strong starting 11 compared to ours. We were a bit more reserved because we're playing some players that need rotating through the squad. But they've pretty much gone first team, so it's going to be an interesting game. Vargas down the right-hand side manages to find Skov, and Skov hits it at the crossbar, and they manage to clear it. Villa are pushing forward. They've managed to find Grealish on the left-hand side, who finds Samata, and Samata follows that into the back of the net to make it 1-0 Aston Villa. Beautiful link-up play from Douglas Louise to Grealish then Grealish to Samata with that little like through header we get an opportunity with a Neto run but he manages to get into the box and doesn't quite get the pass off but Skov manages to get there anyway and thumps that into the back of the net to make it 1-1 one, one. so we've now brought it back to a draw and we've got seven minutes of this game left our team didn't play very well at all and you can tell that they put their starting 11 out and we did not because they have been very dominant in the attacking sense and in the defending sense and we've actually done reasonably okay at defending it's just getting those final passes up towards the attack and getting them in an attacking place was where we've struggled but the game does end as a draw and we will see a replay of this match later in the episode
And here is our starting 11 for match number three. We take on Sheffield United, and that's their starting 11 with five at the back. Sheffield United, very aggressive from the get-go. They managed this one, two to find Jolleton, and Jolleton found the back of the net past Millier, and he got past our defence so easily, but that was beautiful play from Sheffield United to get Jolleton in that position, to get in on goal. Just him and Millier, one-on-one, -on -one, and... Jolleton's obviously going to win from there. Unlucky Millier, but they did really well to get that position. But we have Rodrigo making an attack. He manages to take the ball off the defender, but the Sheffield United goalkeeper manages to pull off the save. Skov is looking for the run of one of our players, but no one's making a run, and now Rodrigo has, and Skov plays a through ball, and Rodrigo finds the back of the net just before half-time to bring it to a draw, so hopefully we'll come out with a little bit more aggression in the second half. It's been very much Sheffield United in this first half, and we've only just been getting control of the game right now, but... Skov held up the ball long enough to make sure that Rodrigo could get through and he played the perfect pass which is really good. Rodrigo has an opportunity in the last few minutes of the game and he will not miss from there. We managed to make it 2-1 Leeds United after we were 1-0 down against Sheffield. Beautiful pass through to Rodrigo who was in space and had no one really marking him and he could just run through and be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. I think that was Skov who played that pass again. I'm not 100% sure but definitely a great pass from one of our midfielders and that secures us the three points a beautiful game we've definitely pulled it out the hat in the second half and at the end of the first half and we deserved the win in the end but in this game we did lose one of our key players we lost Rafinha for seven months he got taken down by their left back and he is now out so you will see other players playing on the wing we're playing the replay in the FA Cup against Aston Villa and they have a very different side. It's a lot weaker than the first one we came against and we kind of switched places. We've gone for a stronger team this time so hopefully we'll be able to come away with the win. And with Rafinha out, we have Costa on that right-hand side and Harrison on that left-hand side. But we will see Neto playing in those positions too. First opportunity in the game in the first five minutes falls to Rodrigo and he's not going to miss from there. It is 1-0 Leeds United in the first five minutes and you can't really say much about it. It just shows you our class and quality of players that are in our first team compared to the players that played this game last time, considering this is much of a weaker Aston Villa side. Villa get their first opportunity in the game from the camber, but Millier manages to parry it away for a corner and nothing comes of it. And that's how the game ends. It was quite an uneventful game. We defended a lot better, but they defended well as well. We do go through to the next round. And match number five is against Preston. That was their starting 11 and substitutions. And here is ours. And you'll see our first opportunity falling to Skov, who manages to hit the crossbar, and it is denied. But Preston managed to get an opportunity here with Vossen, and Vossen somehow manages to break through and put the ball in the back of the net to make it 1-0 Preston North End. I really wasn't expecting this game to be so heavy heavily attacking from Preston and they have defended well I did put quite a weak squad out but again didn't expect to see it like this Rodrigo is looking for someone to make a run but no one really got into the right space so he has a shot and he manages to put it in the back of the net with four minutes to go you can see the Preston and North End players lying on the floor in pain from that beautiful shot from Rodrigo bring it back to level with four minutes to go they're not going to really get another opportunity and I doubt we will but yeah he did he played well to get like 
other players around him, but no one ran into the right position, and he was like, I'm just going to go for it, and he manages to send it past the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was very unlucky to make it, but that is how the game ends. It ends as a draw, big point for Preston, not the biggest point for us. It's quite a letdown, but we did play well today. And after today's games, we stay in third place. We're on exactly the same points as Manchester City, and we are four points behind Liverpool. So we have slightly caught up with the one point on both teams, and the bottom of the table has changed slightly. You've got Brentford in there instead of Sheffield United. Preston and Nottingham Forest are still securely in last place. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Any comments about any changes I could make to this series or any young players that I could bring in would be amazing. And if you're new, please drop that subscribe because we do have about 50% of people who watch these videos are not subscribed. Thank you very much and ta -ra.